Hi guys, welcome back to Codemaster Coach, your medical coding tutor. Okay guys, I have two more cases for you to study. Look at these cases closely because I learned a new code today in preparing this and I wanted you guys to see it as well. All right, this first case is an office visit. This is a first time visit for a 25 year old male who is being seen on an emergency basis in the office due to the patient presenting with a lacerated hand. Patient stated that he cut his right hand while opening a can and just came to the closest position. The wound does not involve any deep structures. Fingers do not have a decrease in movement. Medical history is non-contributory, no medications. Physical exam, healthy appearing male, in mild distress, Blood pressure 130 over 75, pulse 88, respiration 16. Skin is warm and dry, no lesions. Lungs are clear to auscultation and percussion. No cre decreased breath sounds noted. Extremities, normal range of motion times four. The dorsum part of the right hand has a 1.5 centimeter laceration that is superficial with no deep structure involvement. The right hand was prepped with betadine and anesthetized with a 1% plain xylocaine. The wound was irrigated with saline and explored. No evidence of foreign body or deep structure involvement. The wound was closed with interrupted sutures. A sterile dressing was applied. So the impression is a right hand laceration. The patient was given a prescription for erythromycin to prevent infection and he is to take Tylenol for pain follow up in the office in three weeks for the suture removal. So the level of history examined medical decision making, well, medical decision making in this case is straightforward. So I'm wanting the CPT for the visit along with an ICD-10 CM code. I'm wanting both. And I thought it was interesting that this case was a little bit different because he's being seen on an emergency basis in the office. And I didn't realize there's a code for that. Emergency basis in the office. All right. Case. The next case is an emergency room report. History of present illness. This is a seven-year-old boy who was brought to the emergency room by his parents. He's been running an elevated temperature for the past 12 hours. The high was 103. He also complains of stomach pains and vomiting. The parents are very concerned. Past medical history negative, allergies and medication none. Social history, patient lives with his parents, attends elementary school where he's in the first grade. Your physical exam, general, well-developed, well-nourished child who is lethargic and pale. His temperature is 101, pulse 110, respiration 28, and blood pressure is 99 over 72. With the head, ears, eyes, nose, and throat, our eyes are normal. There is a minimal amount of inflammation of the tonsils. Ears, nose, and throat, ears, nose, and mouth are normal. Neck is supple, skin negative, chest, lung sounds are normal, heart normal, rhythm with no murmurs appreciated, abdomen, diffuse tenderness, no masses or organomegaly noted, neurological normal, extremities normal. Examination. He did have an, an abdominal x-ray, which was normal. And then the labs were normal except the urinalysis, which was positive for E. coli greater than 100,000. So the impression is acute polonephritis. He was discharged with Bactrim and will follow up with his physician. So again, identify the ICD-10 code for this visit. And then the CPT for this one with the low medical decision making. for this emergency room report, okay? So again, look back over these two cases. I'll just go back down them a little slower, but slow the video, pause it where you need to so that you can pick up everything you need to pick up and be sure to identify the ICD-10-CM and the CPT code for these two visits. That was visit number one and the next one is an emergency room report Go through, pause the video, sign your ICD-10 CM codes and your CPT codes. 
Okay, guys, I hope this is what you're wanting. I've been asked if I would give good cases for you guys to practice with. So I am. I hope you're enjoying this. Be sure to email me at codemastercoach at gmail. If you have any questions or if you just want to check your answers, I will be back tomorrow with the correct answer to these two cases, case three and four. All right, guys, thanks. I'll see you in the next one.